Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. This is a quick tutorial um, about grass replacement. And I came across this request a few days ago and it's been probably at least two years since I've had anyone ask for a grass replacement. But here's how I do it. Um, this is the original shot here. Obviously you can see they planted grass or whatever. They have all this hay. They really need this replaced. The sellers are very nitpicky. And so I told the agent that I have some shots that I can use. I'll, I'll try to replace this. Um, I got lucky in one respect in that there's no trees, there's no fence. It's pretty much just open grass here. And I thought the elevated shot will work the best as far as grass replacement. The ground shot also just didn't look as good overall. So, um, I have like a library of grass images. This is typically the one I use, um, especially because this is elevated too. So if you have a you know elevated shot here, I want an elevated shot here. You know I don't really want to put a, a ground shot on an elevated shot. It just it, it might look kind of funny. So um, so here's an elevated shot here, and typically what I do for grass replacements is you know I have this here. I usually, depending on the, you know, and how much I actually need to pull, which isn't a lot, as you can tell of this image, what is this, 15% of the image? But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just take the pen tool and I'll just select almost everything like this. And then I made a selection and I will copy that uh, like this. And then I will go over to the original shot and I will do edit paste like this. Okay, and then what this allows me to do is, is move it. Now, how do you know exactly where it lines up? Here's where you go over because it made a layer already for you. That's the nice thing. You paste it, it made as layer one. You can change the opacity and you can kind of see both images. And then you can kind of see where the grass is. Like, I don't want to put this garden box in there, obviously. So I can kind of line up you know, a little bit where it's going to end up. Take opacity back to 100. Then what I'll do, hit enter. Uh, then what I'll do is I will make a layer mask and I will hide it. And I have a shortcut on my mouse for that. So there it is right there. So I've made a layer mask. I've hit it. So now that new grass, the good grass, is underneath. And then I have to make uh, a selection because I'm going to paint in you know, the, a good portion of this is the layer underneath. Okay, so I'm going to get kind of close here. And I don't use the pen tool a ton, but it is a great tool to use. And I know I only need to cor correct this, but just for the sake of being even, I'm basically going to, you know, replace the whole front yard and make a selection. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, there will be some cleanup I have to do, more than likely. But I want to get, that one might not be good enough. I want to get pretty much everything like that. And then I make a selection. So now I'm only working in the, con the confines of the stuff in the dotted marching lines here. Okay. Then I take the paintbrush and make sure my, uh, my opacity is at 100, my flow is at 8%. And my foreground is, is white because I want to review, reveal what's underneath. And then I just paint in the new grass like that. And I will deselect it and zoom out to where, you know, where it's going to be like that. And that looks pretty normal. Is it 100% perfect? No, but. You know, this is not for Architectural Digest or for Architect or something like that. This is for a real estate agent beyond the MLS. This house will probably sell in this market probably a few days and that will be the end of it. Now, clean up down here. First one I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this layer. I'm going to duplicate, make a background layer in case I mess up. And then I'm just going to take the clone tool and I'm going to get just really close here and just kind of make a swipe or two like this. 
can still see some of that old grass in there. You know, maybe clean that up a little bit. And that, you know, and if it, if some's still starting to show, you can do something like this. But that's, you know, then you zoom, always zoom out to, hey, how is this going to be actually viewed? It's going to look like that. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Then I'll, I'll flatten, flatten it so it's the background image. Now I know if you look over here, if I really want to be nitpicky, you can see this grass and this neighbor's yard and this grass over here. It's a little bit darker. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it. It's a bright sunny day for all we know. The sun is hitting this grass, you know, brighter, more directly than the stuff on the sides here. You know, you, you don't know. I mean, I'm not going to get too nitpicky about it, but that's essentially what, how I handle it. It's really not that difficult. I got lucky in that, you know, we're just doing this little patch here. So basically I just take, you know, big, big patch of grass because I'm not really sure how big this image is and how big this image is. If they're exactly the same, like image size, I probably could have just selected everything and moved it over. But, you know, you want to get most of it. Bring it over, pen tool it, paintbrush, done, off you go. I sent this off to the agent a couple days ago. She loved it, the sellers loved it, everyone was happy, and, uh, and that's what counts. So that's about it. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, hope this helps you out. Give me a thumbs up, check out my links, blah, blah, blah. Uh, keep taking great photos and making great photos. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye-bye.